And so the, the theory goes basically that so there were three parts to the, the conspiracy theory. So one is they had the production facility right there, mm -hmm. right where all these musicians showed up. Two is the musicians, like a very large percentage of these young musicians, um, were uh, sons and daughters of senior U.S. military and intelligence officials, including Morrison, including Jim Morrison, whose father was the head of naval operations for the Vietnam War at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and there were these other I forget which ones, but there were these other musicians at the time where their parents were like senior and like military, like psychological operations, and like that's that's all real, like that's all documented. And then third is the head of the Rand Corporation who was one of the inspirations for the Dr. Strangelove character in the movie. Um, so he was the guy doing all the nuclear plan planning for nuclear war. He lived right in the heart of the hippies uh, in Laurel Canyon, Whoa. in this in this famous house that's, that, that's still there. And so the, the theory basically goes that the anti-war movement before the hippies was basically a square movement. It was all these basically young people, very clean cut. The men were all wearing, if you look at old like Vietnam War protests, like everybody's all like dressed up like they're going to a business meeting. It was, and it was developing into a real threat. And so the theory is the hippie movement and rock and roll and the drug culture of the 60s was developed uh, in order to basically sabotage the anti-war movement. Wow. Right. Uh, and it, which, which basically is what happened, right? Because then what happened is the anti-war movement became associated with hippies and that caused Americans to right, decide what side they were on. And then that led to Nixon being elected twice. Which was also a part of chaos because that right. was the idea behind the Manson family and get, yeah. funneling acid to them. The facility was equipped with a soundstage, screening rooms, film storage vaults, and naturally a bomb shelter. During its 22 years of operation, Lookout Mountain Laboratory produced approximately 6,500 classified films for the Department of Defense and the Atomic Energy Commission documenting nuclear test series such as Operation Greenhouse, Operation Teapot and Operation Buster Jangle. So one of the conspiracy theories. Okay, here's another conspiracy theory. The you've seen all the you've seen all the grainy footage of nuclear uh, test blasts that, that you've, you've you know, sure. the, with the mushroom clouds, and there are always these grainy things, and there's all these like little houses lined up and these little trees yes. lined up, and it blows everything down. Well, there's always been a conspiracy theory that those were all basically fabricated at this facility, that those bombs actually were never detonated, um, and Whoa. that basically the U.S. military was uh, was basically faking these bomb tests to freak out the Russians uh, to make us think that we had. Um, uh, we weapons. We had basically a, a potent potency to our nuclear weapon arsenal that we actually didn't have at the time. How did they fake it? Um, they just did. Yeah, exactly. So this is exactly. it. Well, so there is a. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's the question, right? So what happened? Okay. So this is great. Okay, you'll love this. So what happened to the camera? You son of a bitch. <laughs> You son of a bitch. What how how is that camera? happening yet the camera is like totally stable and fine? Oh my God. And, and by the way, in the film is fine. The, radi the, ra the, the radiation uh, didn't uh, cause any damage to the film. Oh my God. This, this looks like how you shoot that, a well, movie and by the way, Okay, we'll like, do this one. We'll do the loop one more time here. Where's the, let's see the car. The car's the car? right behind the house. It just showed up. Also. Oh, it okay. just showed up. So wait a minute. First of all, it wasn't there. First of all, where'd the car no come car. from? Yeah. No car. The second, is, does it really look like car. a car? Does that look like a real car? That's insane. And look at the um, yeah, and look at the when the house blows. Look at the uh, the the wood. Does that look like it's those are full size like you know giant lumber beams as they go flying? Yeah. Uh, that's is that, hard to say. Pause. Is that a house or is that like you know a, a, a you know is that a twelve you know twelve inch uh, you know scale model? What? Right. So, like, the fucking car. And, and anyway, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Having said that, if that was fake, it was faked at Lookout Mountain. Wow. Right. At the exact same place and time. But did they have the kind of special effects to do something like that in the forties? Well, so the the, the full the conspiracy the full conspiracy theory is it was uh, Stanley Kubrick. Which again, I I, I I have no idea. Well, that does look fake. Because yeah. also the camera didn't move at all either. You know what yeah. it looks like? Go back to that real quick. It looks like the smoke is too big. Watch, watch when it hits. Like it's it, the volume, like the size of it. It looks small. I mean, you've seen you know it. what I'm saying? I mean, it looks like something we're looking at something that's like a few inches yeah. tall. Well, so not, if, if you watch like Making of Star Wars, any of the you know any movies before CGI, whenever they do anything like that, it's always mm -hmm. with these tiny models. Yes, and they they just basically this what they do is they slow it down and then they add sound. Yeah, this looks fake as shit. Right. The, 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 the clouds just don't look realistic. Right. Like, it looks like they're too big, and they move too quickly back and right. forth. This is the, another one. It's like, okay, what, the camera, camera's fine. Uh, <laughs> like, <what>? That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, here, we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay, there maybe the camera got knocked. Okay, but even though, but even even still, the camera got knocked over and not, what is the, and not destroyed. Is there a def uh, like some sort of a response to that? Have they come with some sort of an explanation? I, 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 not that I know of. That seems so fake. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So who can tell?
Does that make you wonder about other things? Well, I mean, it's like in our time, right? It's like how much stuff do you read in the news where you're like, okay, I know that's not true. Right. And then you're like, okay, everything I read in the history books, like I was told it was true. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely that, – that one, though, was really weirdly Here, compelling. There's another video of them setting up these houses, which, I mean, I guess you could make after the fact and say yeah. – this is fake, but yeah. this is here them setting it up. Yeah. You just do the, real uh, size houses. Do the sleight of hand. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I assume this is all I assume this is all not true, but it is fun to think about. Why would you assume it's not true? The camera alone. Like this alone. Like yeah, where is the fucking I'll look camera? Up what Where's they said that about camera? Because the they have to have an explanation. Someone must have asked them at some point. Or nobody asked. Well, yep. maybe. Well, yeah, it might be one of those, wow, look what they did. <laughs> We know the Soviets did it too. Yeah. <clears throat> Yuri Gagarin, when he was in that uh, capsule in space, you you can clear if you see the actual capsule, <laughs> and then you see the film footage that was supposedly of him in the capsule. <laughs> there's like two different sources of light. There's shadows. The camera somehow or another is in front of him. This big ass camera. There's no room in the thing. <laughs> like they filmed it afterwards, and it looks fake. <laughs> like oh, I'm sure he really did go into space, but that wasn't it. That was some weird propaganda. Gary Kasparov has a theory, you know, this is the theory there are missing centuries. What? Yeah. Uh, Kasparov has the theory that there are centuries that didn't happen. What do you mean? Well, just, just literally centuries that, like, this whole idea of the Middle Ages lasted 1,200 years or whatever is just, like, not true. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Why does he think that? Uh, there's, there's something about the, you know, whatever. Is there, like, enough historical evidence to support it? And, you know, various people over, you know, various authorities over time who wanted to tell various stories about how long, you know, regimes had been in place or whatever. Oh, so he thinks it's, it's exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the, not, not, not as much time has passed as we think. Well, that's but, quite possible, right? And, you know, how would we know? Yeah, it's so hard. <clears throat> that's why I was having a conversation with someone about the historical significance of the Bible. And he was arguing for the uh, resurrection, and I was like, and like, and I was saying, well, based on what? And it was like historical accounts from people that were there. I'm like, who? <laughs> That's enough. Yes. That's, you know, okay, maybe. Yes. These that, things have been passed down over a long time. Yeah, but it seems yeah. pretty li to, to go just on that. Like, it's so hard to find out what happened 20 years ago from CNN. Right. Or yeah. Two days ago. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, what's going to, how are the history books going to talk about the Iraq war? Yep. How are they going to talk about the, what, what happened with weapons of mass destruction? Like what, yep. how's it going to, what is it, what's it going to spin there? Well, Norm Macdonald, right, had the best joke, right? The best, the best line. It's not really a joke. It's like, you know, according to this history book here, the good guys always won. <laughs> <laughs>